So NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima was updated yesterday. There's a new version out right now, which is the 2022.1 beta. So go ahead and download that if you want to see what's going on, what's new with NVIDIA Omniverse. And in this video, what I'm going to go over is probably one of the coolest feature that they added in this version, which is the post tracker. Go ahead and open it up right here. Now, what the post tracker does is it takes 2D video into 3D animation. Now we've seen this, I made a million tutorials about this with different companies, but now that technology is inside NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. Your excuse of, I don't have a mocap, is no longer valid. Let's get started. So what I'll do is I'll just drag and drop our favorite character, Saul, female in this environment right now. And we'll press E, I can just rotate her, kind of facing the camera right here. And we are in path tracing, and this is the RTX A6000, so in case you're wondering, um, so it's running pretty smooth, pretty nice. So we'll go ahead right here. And if I go to animation right here and I'll click on post tracker, another window is going to open on the right side. Now I'm going to make this smaller and I'll just make this and I'll just drag and drop it here so we can kind of see it. Now there is a sample video file already in here and that's what I'm going to be using, but you can use your own video file or you can actually stream live camera and stream it live. So for the video source, I already have it selected in here by default is okay. For the targeted skeleton, we're gonna go ahead and change that to Saul female skeleton. And you're gonna see this triangle exclamation mark. We can actually auto rig this, auto retarget, and you're gonna get a check mark. And after that's done, go ahead and scroll down. I'm going to start the engine, right? And then I'll press play. And on the bottom right here, I'll calibrate it so that it's gonna bring Soul back up on top of the floor. And that's pretty much it. That is how easy it is to use this software. Now I'm showing you this video because as you all know, there is an NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima contest where you can win freaking amazing laptops right now. And what I'm trying to do is help you all out. I do have a playlist entirely from beginners from installing NVIDIA Omniverse up to rendering and plus this. So what I'm hoping for is you're taking all these information and basically submit an entry. Because like I said in my previous video, if you haven't seen it, Jay's film subscribers actually have an edge as far as NVIDIA Omniverse goes. Because as far as I know, there's nobody else out there making NVIDIA Omniverse as much as I'm making NVIDIA Omniverse movies. So go win something and then send me that laptop that you win. No, I'm just joking, keep it. That's how easy it is. And what we can do from here is actually record that animation and then paste it in the sequencer and we can use it for our movie. And to do that, it's super easy. You see that there's a thing right here, but that's okay. This is an exclamation uh, about the skeleton and things like that. Now I have double screen, so I'm looking at the right side. So what I'll do is I'll just redo it again to none and just do it again. Okay. Now you're going to see there's a check mark there now. I'll start the engine and then press record. Now this is going to record the entire scene. Okay, so now that it's done recording, this is actually going to give us a file path. So I'm going to make this kind of go back. Go to content browser right here. And I'm just going to look for this folder right here. Okay. Now I'll just paste that here. And now we're going to see it right here. I'm going to go back to my stage right now. And she already has some bones and animation in there. So I'll just delete that. And what I will do is just drag it. You know what? We'll use a different one. We'll use the male character now and I'll drag him into the scene. Okay. And then I'll just rotate him here. And then I'll go back to my content folder where that skeleton animation is. And I'll just drag and drop that to the root right here. And next I'll go to soul, drag it to the sequencer. So you can see right here. And again, I'll find that skeleton take and I'll just drag and drop that here and I press play. Pretty freaking cool stuff. And from there, we can just create a camera and create camera from view. And now we're driving that camera. We'll punch in a little bit, just like so. And then we can go to the properties of that camera. And then f-stops, we can change it to two. The focal length, we can change to like 40. 40 is a really good focal length, one of my favorite ones. I'll go back. And I'll change the focus to like 50. And then just mess around until he's actually in focus. Now there used to be an autofocus camera tool in here. 
but it was removed but i was told that it's going to come back or something similar to it is going to come back so don't worry because whenever you're doing path tracing it is kind of hard to focus sometimes because as you can see it's resolving it right here although you can just go to real time to see if that helped you out a little bit better so that looks pretty focused right there but again it's not too precise without the autofocus uh, dropper tool but it's okay and we can just play this pretty much it and like i said nvidia is hosting an nvidia omniverse machinima contest where they're giving away three amazing super speed laptops for the prizes go ahead and check it out i'm going to put the link in the description below as far as the landing page 